Now we're going to be moving on to chapter 9, lesson 1, and we'll start with line plots. The directions say, use the data to complete the line plot, then answer the questions. A clerk in a health food store makes bags of trail mix. The amount of trail mix in each bag is listed below. And then they give you a list of different numbers. Before we start um, going through the process, let's make sure that we know some of these words. When they're talking about data, they're talking about statistics and numbers. And the data that they're referring to in this particular one are these numbers right here. In terms of the line plot, they're referring to this blank chart right here. And they're asking us to fill this chart in first. The reason why they want us to use this line plot is to help us imagine these numbers a little more. When you look at it in a long list like this, it could be slightly daunting, a little disorganized. For instance, you have a 1 4th LB, LB standing for pounds. Um, that's a weight of measurement, a measurement of weight. Um, for instance, I weigh about 110 pounds. So 1 4th pounds, 1 4th pounds, 3 4th pounds, half a pound, 1 4th pounds, 3 4th pounds, 3 4th pounds, 3 4th pounds, pounds, half a pound, 1 4th of a pound, half a pound, half a pound. You could see that the 1 4ths are kind of mixed in all over the place. Same with the three-fourths and the halves. Using this will help organize this. So you could see that here's the weight of trail mix in pounds and they broke it up to the different categories. We saw one-fourth, three-fourth and a half and they put one-fourth, three-fourth and a half um, going from lowest to highest. If we're to count how many one-fourths there are, because we'll start with one fourth, the lowest amount. We'll see that there's one, two, three, four, four of them. What we're going to do with those four is indicate that on here. To indicate that, as you can see, there's nothing over here to indicate where to stop because this is not a bar graph, it's a line plot. And so we're going to go make some X's. One, two, three, four. I got four by counting how many one-fourths, one, two, three, four, that we have. Now we're going to do the same thing for the half a pound. So this is the weight of trail mix in half a pound. We have one, two, three, four as well. So we're going to go one, two, three, four. And I got this four by counting how many halves we have in our within our list or our data. Now we're going to finish the three-fourths. And keep in mind, what they did was, even though it's one-fourth and then three-fourths, they did it from least to greatest. We have one, two, three, four. Very interesting, we had four again. Now this was a coincidence that all of them were the same amount, all of them were equal to four. Um, that doesn't always necessarily happen. So it's not like, oh, it's four, four, four always. It just happened that there were four. And let me just double check that. Okay. Yeah, there's four, four, and four. To make it easier for me to read, I'm going to put the amount right here. There's four X's. There are four X's and there are four X's. Looking at this, this is a lot more organized than this right here. I know that there is one fourth, one fourth, one fourth, one fourth. There's four of them without having to go all crazy going one, two, three, four. It doesn't, it's a lot more organized. So this was derived from the data here and it just helped to organize the information. I could have written one fourth, one fourth, one fourth, one fourth. Likewise, one half, one half, one half, one half. Three fourths, three fourths, three fourths, three fourths, but this makes it a lot cleaner. That being said, we know that this clerk uh, was listing out the different trail mix bags. Why would you have different trail mix? That's kind of like saying a small, a medium, and a large. Um, we have four smalls, four mediums, and four large. The first question is, what is the combined weight of the one-fourth pound? 
uh, one fourth pound bags. In that case, we're only concerned with this one, this row right here. Since these are the halves and these are the three fourths, and they're only asking for the one fourth, the small size, they want to know what's the combined weight for all of this. And there are two ways we could do it. We could do one fourth plus one fourth plus one fourth plus one fourth. One fourth plus one fourth plus one fourth plus one fourth four times. Or what is repeated addition? Repeated addition is multiplication. So on a scratch paper to find the one fourths, you could do one fourth plus one fourth plus one fourth plus one fourth. But look at how messy that is. And look at how many numbers we're going to have to be adding like that. You can likely make a mistake. So what is repeated addition? Repeated addition is multiplication. It's the number one fourth being repeated one, two, three, four times, four times. So it's one fourth being repeated four times. Now this is a lot more simple. How would you do one fourth times four? You would do the numerators times the denominators. But Ms. Tolentino, there's no denominator. Well, what exactly is 4? Four? 4 is 4 over 1. Numerator times the numerator is 4. Denominator times the denominator is 4. And now here we could simplify. When the numerator is equal to the denominator, it means it's equal to 1. If the numerator is bigger, it's more than 1. If the numerator is smaller, it's less than 1. In this case, the numerator and denominator are the same, so it's exactly 1. 1 what? one pound. So if you were to add all the one fourths together, all the small sizes, you would have one pound. We're going to do the same thing for the next one. What is the combined, that means adding, weight of the half pound bags? So again, we're only concerned with the middle column. We're not going to be concerned with the one fourth bags, the small size. We're not concerned with the three fourths, the large size. We only want to know the half pounds. We could write the equation half plus a half plus a half plus a half, or we could do what we did for number one, which is one half is what we're repeating because that's what it's asking for, and we're repeating it one, two, three, four times. We're repeating it one, two, three, four times. So instead of writing it out four times, I'm going to multiply it by four. Repeated addition. We're going to do the numerators times the numerators and the denominators times the denominators. But Ms. Tolentino, 4 is a whole number, it doesn't have a denominator. Well, what is 4? 4 is the same as 4 over 1. Numerator times the numerator is 4. Denominator times the denominator is 2. And at this point, we're going to simplify. When the numerator is bigger than the denominator, the answer is more than 1. So you could put it inside the house. When the numerator is exactly the same as the denominator, it's 1. And when the numerator is less than the denominator, it's less than 1. 2 times 2 is 4 with no leftovers. So now your next answer is 2 pounds. So this one is 2LB or 2 pounds, whichever floats your boat. We're going to do the last time. What is the combined weight of three-fourths pounds bags? Again, we could write three-fourths plus three-fourths plus three-fourths plus three-fourths. Or combined weight and repeated addition means three-fourths times four. Three-fourths, the number that we're concerned with, times the amount of times it's being repeated. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Three-fourths times four. Numerator times the numerator, denominator times the denominator, and 4 is the same as 4 over 1. 3 times 4 is 12. 4 times 1 is 4. When the numerator is bigger than the denominator, the answer is going to be bigger than 1. And in this case, it's going to be exactly 3. So now we have 3 pounds. And we found the weight of all the smalls. Altogether, the smalls is one, uh, the small size, one fourth pound bags, um, equal one pound. If you add all the half pounds, you have two pounds. And if you add all the three fourths pounds together, it's three pounds. 
Number four is asking for the total weight of the trail mix used in all the bags. So you want to know the total weight of all of these, the total weight of all of these, and the total weight of all of these. You could do one fourth plus one fourth plus three fourth plus one half plus one fourth plus three fourth plus three fourth plus three fourth plus one half plus one fourth plus one half plus one half. Or you could do, or you could just do, we already figured this out. Altogether, this equals one pound. Altogether, this equals two pounds, and altogether, this equals three pounds. So what you could do is, just find the total weight of these three answers. And one pound plus two pounds plus three pounds is a whole number of six pounds. Now we're almost done with the question. Number five is the last part where we're asking for the average. The average amount of trail mix in each bag. What you're gonna do is after we add all of these numbers, or in other words, all of this data, all of these numbers, which we found to be six pounds, we're going to divide by the amount of numbers there are altogether. So we're gonna take the total pounds, which is six pounds, and we're going to divide it by how many numbers there are. Now we could count the amount of numbers and go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. We could count the number of X's, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Or we could just add the numbers that we have on the cheat sheet here. Four plus four plus four, which is twelve. So the two numbers that we're going to divide to find the average is the total weight of all of the bags all together, which we found by doing each of these. One pound, two pound, three pounds, all together, this is six pounds. And we're dividing by the amount of X's there are, by the amount of numbers by the total amount of bags. Now, six divided by 12, we know how to do. This is our numerator, and this is our denominator. Our numerator over denominator means six over 12. And all you do from here is reduce. You could divide two by top and bottom, and it will reduce down to one half. So, an average amount is that it has about one half pounds. Some might have more, some might have less, but overall, half is pretty much the average for these 12 um, bags. You're gonna do a similar process for number six, seven, eight, and nine. Again, they gave you a chart, and so you're going to take these numbers and map them out. From there, you're only going to find out the half crystals, half inch crystals, the five eight inch crystals, for these two problems. However, you're still gonna to have to find out the rest of the other four before adding the total length. Then you're gonna find the average. So even though there's less steps, it looks like, because you have four of them, it's kind of like you still have to do all the steps. And you'll see what I'm talking about as you go through it. If you have any questions, you could definitely ask me. Um, but good luck and I hope that this helps.